Manly cartoons, yeah! Fist of the North Star, Chuck Norris, Karate Commandos, Biker Mice from Mars, and My Little Pony. What? For those of us who are born with a penis and love My Little Pony, there is one question that burns within our souls. How are we represented in the show? The answer is we're not. I was trying to think one day about what male characters there were in the show that were both well-developed and played a positive role in the story they were involved with. I came up with none. In fact, I remember Digi once mentioned that no male character in My Little Pony would pass the Betchdale test, which is a test designed to actually make sure that you have properly developed female characters. There is a small list of male characters that are just kind of there, such as Brayburn, Fancy Pants, and Shining Armor. When you start looking at the male characters that have an active role in the episode there, and the only masculine character is Iron Will. Now, Iron Will is interesting because when the other characters began adopting his character traits, it was actually considered a negative. A very strong negative. When you have to go to the villains, we have one who has no lines, but, you know, basically tried to enslave the entire race because, you know, he's just evil, right? And, you know, he's kind of a bad guy, so we can't really fault that. And then you have Discord, who flip-flops like a fucking presidential candidate. I don't know whether he's good, bad, who fucking knows, right? We don't fucking... Yeah. And then there's Tyrick, who starts off as a smart philosophical villain, and as he becomes more and more masculine, getting stronger, he becomes more and more one-dimensional. Basically giving the equation of masculinity slash men equals stupid. Now, before I start sounding like a feminist hating MRA who hates everything feminism says, which I do, in fact, believe most feminism is based on bullshit. But that's a subject for another video. I'd like to point out that I can't fault the show for matching its target demographic and, gen and gender roles and numbers. I thought it was a stupid argument when feminists attack cartoons like Transformers, and I think it's a stupid argument when MREs attack MLP. How did this ever come up? Well, I was going to be an attention-whoring dingus and discuss whether or not Big Mac was trans, yet because I desire attention, someone please notice me. My answer, of course, is no. Now, back in the day, it was assumed that most women would stay home and take care of the kids. The gender norm stated that in an interesting plot, like, say, you know, if you're making a TV show or a movie, and where things that were exciting happened, it generally didn't feature a large female cast, because generally they were, you know, they were performing the mundane tasks at home. Equestria seems to have a similar role for males. They are generally taking care of yard work, mundane jobs, and thus, when the plot is focused on action and exploration, males are generally not around. In Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep, given the opportunity to represent anything he wanted, Big Mac became an alicorn princess, and in The Brotherhood Social, whatever the hell that episode was called, Big Mac even states that he is envious of his sister's role in society, stating that he is a simple farm pony and she's a hero. When he chose the representation of femininity, he simply chose to represent what the culture he lives in views as important. Very much like a girl who wanted to dress like a superhero rather than dressing like a princess in our culture. There are many who say that, you know, when he's in the character of Orange Blossom, he's able to freely express himself and becomes a literal chatterbox. My argument about this is all it does is prove that Big Mac happens to stay in character very well and would in fact make a pretty good cosplayer. So in closing, there is little to bad representation of masculinity in the show, but I can't fault it for targeting its target audience. Donut out. Oh yeah, and then there's Spike. Hey everyone, this is the Burning Donut. And now for the audience participation part of the video. This is where we tell you to like, comment, subscribe, and you know, if you feel like you want to like, you know, further the... Further to the discussion, go ahead and, you know, make a comment down in the old comment section. You know, perhaps you felt, perhaps you have some views on what I talked about. And perhaps you think, you think I'm an idiot and should just stop making internet videos because I'm a... Yeah, who needs more of them brony guys making videos? They're stupid. We don't like whatever. Whatever you do, please do not check out my artwork. Please do not follow my Twitter. And whatever you do, I swear to God, if you do this, if you go down to my Patreon and perhaps give me a couple bucks so I can survive, so I don't just die from starvation because I'm a very poor person, you know? You know, just just, just don't do that. That would be terrible. I would hate that. What? I mean, what do I need food for? What do I need to survive? This is like I'm in serious.